Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Levonaronian and Shakriar Mamejarov. This is a game from Chess Olympia, played in Batumi, Georgia in 2018. Levonaronian had white pieces and he started with e4. Shakriar Mamejarov played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, the Spanish game. Ask me a question, bishop to a4, knight to f6, Levon Aronian castle kingside. Black to move. Bishop to e7. b5. And knight takes pawn on e4. The three most played moves. And this is the move that Shakriar Mamejaro played. d4. Bishop to e7. b5 is the most played move. Bishop to e7. Rook to e1. b5 now. Rook takes on e4, d5, white to move. Aronian played knight takes pawn on e5. Knight takes on e5. If d takes on e4, knight takes on c6. Attacking the queen and after queen to d7, knight can take the bishop. White can even play knight to e5, attacking the queen. Back to our game. Knight takes on e5. Rook takes on e5. Pawn takes bishop. Queen to e1. At this stage, white is standing better. White has a better pawn structure, and black can't even castle. Well, he can, but what happens then? Rook takes on e7. So in this position, Mamajaro played f6. Rook to e3. c5. Is this a correct pawn sacrifice? Queen to d1 was played. If d takes a c5, and then black plays d4, rook to g3. Seems okay for white. Back to our game. Queen to d1 was played. But this allows black to castle. Mamejaro castled king's side. Knight to c3, rook to b8, b3, c takes on d4, queen takes on d4, bishop to d6, a takes on b3 would be also a good move. Exchanging a double pawn for a healthy pawn. But then white rook is active on the a-file. Mamejaro perhaps didn't even consider this because he had a deep, deep plan in mind. Back to our game. Bishop to d6. Queen takes on d5. Check. King to h8. Rook to d3. Queen to e8. Did black blunder the bishop. No, he didn't. Aronian played bishop to b2. If queen takes on d6, then queen to e1 checkmate. That is why. Aronian played bishop to b2. Defending the first rank, the game continued. Bishop to e5. Knight takes on a4. White is two pawns up. Rook to b5, attacking the queen. Queen to f3, bishop to b7, attacking the queen again, queen to e3, bishop to e4, did black give a bishop for free? Rook to d2, if queen takes bishop, what happens then? Then bishop takes on h2, check, and after king takes, then queen takes queen. Back to our game. Rook to d2, this is very important moment of the game, the critical position. When Shakriar Mamejarov played a move that turned the tables. What is it? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Shakriar Mamejarov played bishop takes on g2. What a move. King takes bishop. Queen to g6, check. King to f1. If king goes to h1, then bishop takes on h2 is unpleasant. If king takes on h2, rook to h5, check is winning. Back to our game. So after check, we have king to f1. Bishop takes on h2. Rook to e1. Rook to g5. King to e2. Rook to e8, attacking the queen. 
king to d1. Black to move. What would you do? Black to move and to play the obvious. What is obvious? Majaro played the best move. Rook to g1. Rook takes queen is not the best move. Why? Because of rook to d8 check. And after rook to e8, rook takes rook, queen takes rook, rook takes queen checkmate. Back to our game. So after king to d1, we have rook to g1, pinning the rook on e1. Bishop to e5. Queen takes rook doesn't work, because queen takes queen, and the rook on e1 is pinned. Let's take it back. What about rook takes on g1? Then queen takes on g1, check. Then after king to e2, rook takes on e3. Back to our game. So we have bishop to e5, the best move under the circumstances. Bishop takes on e5. Material is equal now, but white king is less safe. Rook to e2. H5, queen to d3, queen to g2, knight to b6, rook takes on e1 check, rook takes rook, queen takes on f2. It wouldn't be a surprise if black starts pushing the h pawn. Knight to d5, rook to d8, pinning the knight and provoking c4, defending the knight, but now queen takes pawn. On a2 and white king is even more vulnerable. Black is now two pawns up and uh, Aronian wants to avoid exchanging of the queens because black would win easily in the end game. Queen to f3, g6, defending the pawn on h5, rook to e3, king to g7, queen to h3, intending queen to e6, queen to f2. So if a5, for example, then white can play queen to e6. Queen to f2 was played. Rook to d3. Why not queen to e6 now? If queen to e6, what happens then? Then rook takes knight, check, removing the defender of the rook on e3. After c takes on d5, queen takes on e3. Black is winning. Back to our game. So we have rook to d3. White rook is safe. But Mamejaro had another idea now. And that is to exchange queens. Queen to g1 check. King to c2. Queen to h2 check. Forcing white to exchange queens. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes queen. Rook to h3. Bishop to e5, king to d3, a5, king to e4, king to f7, king to f3, rook to h8, with the idea to support the h pawn, king to g2, g5, knight to e3, king to e6, I guess if g4, then knight can take, but then rook to g8, and after rook takes on h5, rook takes on g4. Back to our game. King to e6, easier to calculate. King to f1, black played the move and white resigned. And the move is f5. In this position, Levon Aronian looked very, very sad. He was shaking his head in disbelief. At some stages of the game, he was better and he lost. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Perhaps king to g2, f4, knight to f1, g4, rook to d3, h4, knight to h2, h3, check, king to g1, g3, knight to f3, h2, check, king to h1, g2, check, king must take, then pawn is pushed, promoted to queen, and I guess we can stop here for this game. Shakriar Mamedaro was awarded a brilliant surprise for the best game 
in round five. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.